Hey guys. Welcome everyone. Thank you for clicking. I went to the market and I just got back and this is the change that I have on me. I went to the market with 97 CDs and I brought back three CDs. So it means that I spent 94 CDs at the market. I'm going to leave it the dollar equivalent, if possible, the Naira equivalent on the screen when I'm editing. So now let me show you guys what I got with that money. Yeah. Are the items that I got. Okay. This is okra. Yeah. This one went for five cities. This is ginger. This one went for two cities. Nigerian fufu. I bought it for this one for two cities. Cow skin for 10 cities. This is palm wine. I want to drink palm wine because I saw it and I asked. They said it's fresh. They didn't mix anything so I got this for 6 CD. I hope your calculator is working. <laughs> In here is point and kill. Catfish. I want to make the best I got this for 30 CDs. And this is a half crate of egg and I got this for 15 cities. So here is a tuba of yam. <laughs> this one is amazingly expensive. I'm not going to lie. So I got this for 15 CD. So if you calculate all the money together, everything here is 94. Because I went with 97 and I'm, I returned with 3 cities. All right, all right. So you can tell me how it is in your city. Do you think this is fair for that amount, or you think it's more? What do you think? Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and drink it later. Thank you for watching, guys. Morning. I don't know if it's too early. If it's too early to say I'm having a productive day. Do you think it's early? Some of the things I've been taking for granted is what I'm going for right now. I've been taking um, these little things we have in the house, like milk, roots, a lot of those small, small things for granted because I had them at home. So for some days now, I've not bought anything. I didn't want to buy it. I wanted to save money. <laughs> I want to save costs, so I... When I went to get um, our weekly, when they come inside. So when I went for my weekly shopping, I didn't include fruits and those small, small things. Those, you know, those little, little things. I, but now I realize that it's coming back to bite me. It is not even easy to survive without those things. So I'm going there to get them and I'm going to the mall. Also, they are cream. The kids body cream none of them has any in the house so i am going to the mall but i doubt if i'll take you guys along just letting you guys know so this is the beginning of another vlog do you want to say hi come come and say hi say hi friends when you say hi hi guys hi guys hi guys hi guys okay let's go hello guys welcome back to my kitchen if you are new to this kitchen you are welcome okay so today we are going to prepare the nigerian pepper soup guys i made a shocking discovery the other day at the market the day i went to buy yam that you saw at the beginning of this video i saw water yam I didn't even call the name. I just pointed at it. I pointed at the water yam and I said to the woman that sells it, I said, oh, madam, you guys in Ghana eat this? You eat it? And she was like, well, you mean water yam? And I'm like, you mean it? So that is the name also. And she was like, yes. There are lots of things here in Ghana that are so similar to that in Nigeria, but it's just the name difference. Now, one of them is um light soup 
we in Nigeria we call it pepper soup, but here they call it light soup. The process of preparing it is almost the same. It's just the ingredients at some point that is different. Just like um, right now, I just added some spices from Delta State, which them here, they, in place of it, they add something like garden egg or something. But at the end of the day, it's both same thing, just different names. Another thing again that I've discovered here in Ghana that is the same, with this French style of preparing is okra. Them here, they call their own okra stew. We, we call it okra soup. Seriously, I've, I've, I'm still learning a lot of things. I'm still discovering. So let's get back to my pepper soup. I had this chicken here yesterday. So at the point of trying to prepare it, I ran out of gas. So by the time I returned from filling the gas, I had already lost the z to cook so i said okay let me just you know leave it in the freezer so today i brought it out early and then i want to prepare this pepper soup because it's raining here and really cold so this is the best way to warm up for the day making pepper soup the nigerian version of light soup in case you're not nigerian if you're a guardian so this is our own light soup. But one thing I wish I knew before I started is if I knew that this chicken is fatty like this, you can see the whole thing looks so oily. That was not my making, okay? It's natural from the chicken, but there's no stopping me, okay? Let's move forward. I have to just go ahead and enjoy it like that. So, and I'm combining it with plain white rice. This is perfect for the weather. It's perfect to start the day with. So yeah, welcome to the evening of that day. Now, this helps. Before I tell you guys other things, I got them from my village when I went to visit. But because I've not really been sun drying it since I came, I had it tied in the pepper bag. So I wanted to use it. I've been using it for some time now, like now i want to soak another one because the one i soaked before is done like it's finished all the nutrient has come out and it's all gone so i had to throw that away and re-soaked another so you can see that it's looking dusty that whitish coat on the body of those um herbs so i had to like wash them and re-soak soak it and be drinking it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach what i do is i don't even brush my teeth i just drink it first then before brushing now if you are 30 years old and it's and you are a woman i think it's time to start taking care of yourself if you are 30 and above for me i'm above 30 i didn't know by this time of my life i'll still be raising kids seriously I thought by 30 or 30 something, you no, know, in my very early 30s, I thought I would be done with, you know, raising kids. But life happens, you know. <laughs> Some of us receive our blessings at old age. So what I mean is I, if I wasn't nursing, like if I had time, I would be going to the gym in place of this or be doing both, which is really good for my body. But because I'm nursing right now, and I'm doing YouTube full time. I don't have time for myself. So there's no time to go to the gym right now. So this is what I use to help my system, you know, flush. And um, I drink this, like I said earlier, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. If you want to drink it at night, it's good too. This thing is really good. I've got this thing for some of my friends. At least one of my friends that have given this help to watch this video and she will be smiling uh, because she can relate it's really good it helps to flush your system you know with all the stress that comes with being 30 and above it really helps so that is it my mom actually forced me to do this i didn't want to the first time happy weekend I guys today is saturday welcome to accra ghana how are you all to win so we're going to cook okra soup and before the kids in this apartment will come down and start playing and making noise i want to quickly go into the kitchen make something delicious all of us we're going to do that together and i'll be explaining it in details then after that i'm 
coming with the food here after cooking we are going to eat and i'm going to tell you guys i'm going to tell you guys something really important please you hold me a thumbs up okay don't forget to give it to me welcome back again to the kitchen like i have greeted you a thousand times from this kitchen <laughs> so this is the remaining chicken that i had left in the freezer trust me i can use one chicken to prepare tons of dishes in my house you know but that's very good so i had this one left in the freezer i wanted to use it to make something like maybe jello fries or something but then i changed my mind because i always change my mind i just wanted to slice the chicken small 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 and just you know make it with you know okra so you can see my own style of preparing okra we have tons of styles of preparing okra in nigeria but this is my own style this is how i like it i like to fry my oil first fry my onions and then add the okra like this and i love my okra to be uh, knife sliced instead of you know grating it with something so this is how i do it this is how i do it so i just stir it and then add a bit of my crayfish blended crayfish has become really convenient you can see that i have that grinding stone something that looks like a grinding stone or mortar that is i picked it up from one of the shops here in accra a lot of Ghanaians do use that to grind something you know but i like it especially when i want to eat yam and i want that village feeling because once you use blender to blend your pepper the pepper will just be different so when i want my pepper to give me that local feeling that local village taste i like to use that grinding stone or or mortar to grind my stuff so what i did is i added a bit of cameroon pepper i cannot even do without cameroon pepper so i'm going to combine this okra soup and uh, nigerian fufu so because i had it previously i had it kept in the fridge so i always like to put it back and warm it i do not have a microphone for did i say microphone i do not have a microwave <laughs> i do not have a microwave for now so i always warm everything on fire so yeah, this is the finished look of my Obonge Okro soup. I had wanted to share something with you guys, but I think it's fair to leave it for another video. Thank you for watching this one, okay? I love you. I will see you in my next one. Bye.